This morning, a grim message from Hawaii's governor as the death toll from the deadliest wildfire in more than a century continues to grow. It's going to be emotionally catastrophic. I understand that people want numbers. It's not a numbers game. It's not just ash on your clothing when you take it off. It's our loved ones. And with hundreds still unaccounted for, officials are urging survivors to provide DNA samples to help identify the dead. Overnight, a vigil was held for Joe Schilling, known locally as Uncle Joe. His family says he died a hero, trying to help his elderly neighbors escape the flames. These photos, the last they received from him, showing homes going up in flames. Always. If there isn't anybody in the family or who knew Joe that would be surprised that he would put himself at risk to help somebody else. Denny Euchert survived, but as he was stuck in traffic with the smoke and flames bearing down on him, he didn't know if he would make it out alive. You can feel the heat off the traffic. Denny recording a message to his family, fearing the worst. My dad, my mom, my son, David. I love you all. I can honestly say I've been through hell and back, and thank God they didn't want me. Firefighter Ina Kohler was on the scene as the flames took over Lahaina. Were there moments when you feared for your life? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a few. She and her colleagues desperately working to save homes, even as their own burned to the ground. Ina says she and her husband are among the 17 of 18 firefighters who lived in Lahaina and lost their homes. And now, new issues for those who escape the flames. Residents in Lahaina and Kula have been advised not to drink or even boil water because of what could be in it. And today, wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour are expected on Maui as fire crews continue to fight flare-ups. But around the island, scenes of hope. At least six donation centers have sprung up organically. Local community members coming together to help those who have lost everything. We have delivered over 1 million pounds of food, water, and supplies to the Lahaina community. And FEMA also says the agency has more than 300 staff on the ground, giving out more than 50,000 meals. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.